Раз, два, три. Окей, so during this lesson I'm going to show you how to install Python on your uh, Windows machine. So it's really easy, you just type python.org and this is the official site of Python. So here you can see the downloads me menu and from this menu uh, the site has already de detected the windows and it prompts to download Python 3.8. You can also find it here, uh, if you go a little down, so it's also Python 3.8.2. So we go up and download the needed file. Again, so uh, internal security system of Google Chrome uh, asks if we want to continue with the downloading of this file, because it's concerned about the exe uh, file, so you just keep this file and after the download is completed, we can go with the installation. On this side, you can see uh, the documentation bar here. And within this uh, menu, you can find a lot of very uh, useful stuff. For example, all the docs are classified by the version of Python. And as for today, uh, the support for Python 2 will be seized in this year, so the main branch of the development of Python itself uh, will be Python 3. So if you open this link, it will get you to all the documentations and tutorials of Python 3. Okay, so um, other things in documentation are the beginner's guide and the Python books. So if you go to Python books, you can see the list of all available sources. So for example, here you can see the, for example, here you can see uh, the books in different languages like Russian or Ukrainian here. So stick to this place to find the best sources to learn Python and it's not uh, universal stuff for everyone so just try and get the one that works for you again in the documentation section uh, you can see all these tutorials and frequently asked questions also what is new in this version and other stuff that you should look at. As you can see the uh, most recent stable version is 3.8 and the 3.9 is under the development. So for now we have uh, downloaded the exe file and we're going to start with it. So you accept all the prompts and here you check the add python to path and uh, you have two options so so if you are okay with the uh, uh, customizing this installation you choose customize it otherwise you just go with the default uh, options over that so i'm going to go with the customize installation From here you choose uh, the modules that you want to download, so the documentation itself, the PIP, so it's the um, package manager for Python, so the I I IDLE, e, which is the development environment. So you click next and here you choose install for all of users and probably you need to debug your stuff so just click on install now, accept everything that is prompted again and wait until uh, it finishes the installing of the program. Okay, so the installation is successfully finished and now they prompt to go to online tutorial and documentation pages.
and let's create a new file. So just choose text document and name it Python trial one. So the extension of Python files will be py and you're gonna accept the changes and from here you can go with the edit with IDLE. So this is the development environment so just go with it. And this is our text editor and you can type the comments from here so let's say a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 3 so c is equal to a times b uh, s is equal to str a plus str b and finally print a, B, C, and S. So this is uh, the simple code. We just press run, run module, or go with F5. So it prompts to save the changes, and we accept the changes. So here is the Python shell. And if we execute the code, it is going to open it in the Python shell. And the interpreter uh, stays like this. So from here we can print out, uh, for example, A and B. And we can print, for example, the sum of C plus int S. So here, uh, we, uh, as a result of the code itself, we print A, B, C as integers, so they are integers, and S as a string. And you can see that these three are integers and this is the string. If we try to add these two values, it will raise the issue and if we just go with print and we can go actually without it so c plus int s so it will convert the s the value of s into integers and then add the c to it so oops c plus integer S. and it is 29 because 6 plus 23 is 29 but what will happen if we go with str c plus s so now we convert the c value which is integer uh, 6 into string so now it is going to concatenate it and this is 6 to 3 so we just add these 23 symbols to the symbol of 6 and this is 6 to 3 okay so this is the general overview of the interpreter and the text editor for the ideal e we can also go with a, a command line and if you press windows key plus r and type cmd from here you go python press ok and you actually loaded the interpreter within your command line so let's say a is equal 4 and b is equal 5 now a times b should be 20 yes it is to quit you just press exit uh, with the parenthesis and you could also go to your python uh, folder 
by changing the uh, directory so the command is cd plus desktop from here you cd to python and from here you run the code written here in python trial with the interpreter so this is the declaration of the program that should execute this code and it is also the same 236 and the string 23 if you go straight to python trial uh, script it will do the same so just because uh, in windows the py extension is associated with the python 3.8 it will execute it it will know that it needs to execute it okay that's it for today and i will see you soon